Good morning, good morning. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Billy. I'm the senior pastor of Trinity Lutheran in Bloomington, Illinois, and I am here today with your daily devotion. Mm -mm -mm. All fueled up and ready to go. We like to start with scripture and we are working through and almost wrapping up uh, a journey through First Peter. And uh, it's, a, it's a series we've been doing in worship. It's also a daily devotion we've been doing, kind of slowing it down, taking it chunk by chunk through First Peter. So we're in First Peter chapter 5, and we will be reading verses 7 through 9. Verse 7 is so good from yesterday. This thought, man, it's good. We're going to hear it again today. All right, so get your Bible open, whatever Bible it is, your favorite translation, even if you like to use your devices. You can go to the YouVersion Bible app or whatever your favorite app is and open up to 1 Peter chapter 5 and we'll start with verse 7. It says, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares for you. Mm. Just soak that one in for a second. Mm. Yeah, love that up. You can love that if you want. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Man, three verses have so much in this. Uh, it's it's unreal. So, um, you know, so we're going to start with... Uh, Cast all your carries and worries on the Lord. Um, I'm pretty sure that right now there are many of us that have a lot of carries and worries that are weighing us down. And, and this passage says to cast them on the Lord. And it's a very important part, it says, because he cares for you, which is something that I hope encourages us. It's like a loving father that wants to help his children. And he simply is waiting, like, hey, let me know what's going on. And uh, so that's a powerful way to start. And then it goes right into something pretty intense, okay? It's a acknowledgement of spiritual warfare, you might say, but the presence and activity of Satan. And, um, and I love the image that it shares with us because it really just, man, it just makes it real. Uh, my son loves to watch like nature channel stuff. He loves to, to uh, see the animals and learn more about them, read books like amazing questions and answers about uh, the world and um, and one of the things that is is interesting to watch is when a, a lion is on the hunt uh, you know those those lionesses oftentimes are the ones hunting and they love to um, isolate their prey away from the herd so that they can then pounce and attack them and and if they've done their job well enough the isolation will have taken place far enough away from the herd where the herd is not interested in coming back to help and um, and so this image really helps you to realize what is that feeling whenever you feel isolated and alone. Satan loves for you actually to feel that way. Um, and it's because he thinks he can then mess with you. And the reality is for us, as we've seen through all of the rest of First Peter, is that he is living in a lie, a lie that says that we're alone. Um, we even have the words of Jesus who says, um, I will be with you uh, always, even to the end of the age. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, right? Like, so, so we have the presence of Christ. We have actually something we'll celebrate this weekend. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit that God has poured out on his people. And, uh, and that ought to be an encouragement for us, even as we feel like we have to be away from people, uh, that we're not alone. Now, the last verse is also powerful. It says, the whole world is suffering uh, in the same way. Believers all over the world. And, and maybe more now than ever, uh, a pandemic that's actually gone through the whole world um, makes that statement more true than maybe it usually is for us. And uh, it would just be my encouragement to, to you to, to look for those ways that this pandemic hasn't just divided us, but also has united us. Ways that you've seen humanity step up and you've seen the love of God poured out uh, as people have reached out and connected during this pandemic. So here's three questions. I got to do it quick because I 
My phone's dying, okay, I didn't plug it in, that was a mess up. So here's the question number one, what cares or worries are weighing you down that could be given to the Lord? Question number two, how do you see Satan attempting to make you feel isolated and alone? And number three, in what ways have you seen this pandemic unite people? Not just divide and isolate them, but unite them. Let's pray into that reflection for the rest of the day. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus has come for us and that he has won redemption for us. We thank you for his promise that he is with us even to the end of the age. And we thank you, Lord, that he is with us as we fight back the attempts of Satan to make us feel isolated and alone. Help us, Lord, to see how you are uniting your people even now. In Jesus' name I pray it. Amen. All right, y'all, have a blessed day. I pray that you have blue skies and sunshine. And if it's a rainy day, then I pray that you get a chance to have a cup of coffee and dig into more scripture and that God would bless you in that. See you sometime tomorrow in the same place. God's blessings.